Mobile photography has become more popular as smartphone cameras improved. The iPhone XS's camera is the best on the market, and paired with Halide, it is an incredibly powerful photographic tool. This video covers everything you need to know about shooting with Halide. Just as a tiny disclaimer, this video has been commissioned by Halide. Halide is my favorite app for mobile photography, so when they reached out to me to make an official tutorial for them, I was absolutely thrilled. Anyway, let's get to shooting. After opening the app, you'll see a quick getting started manual. Feel free to flip through that to get some of the basics down. After that, you have to allow a few permissions. Don't worry, Halide won't ask you for anything unnecessary. After you allow those permissions, you're in. This is Halide. The controls might feel a bit overwhelming at first glance, but don't fret. By the end of this video, it'll be a breeze. Like the Apple camera app, Halide has an auto mode. Using smart detection, Halide automatically adjusts to get you an even exposure and proper focus. If you need to expose or focus on a different subject, just tap on that subject. Halide quickly makes the adjustments for you. It's easy to manually adjust the exposure compensation or focus. Swipe vertically inside the viewfinder to raise or lower the exposure. Slide your finger on the bar just above the shutter button to manually change the focus. To return to autofocus, just tap on the AF button or slide all the way back. So far, we've let Halide pick the ISO and shutter speed for us. It's a little more involved, but it's simple to adjust these granularly. First, tap the little circle enclosed yellow triangle icon. This shifts Halide from the auto exposure mode to manual mode. Sliding vertically on the screen now adjusts the shutter speed only. Increase it to capture fast motion or slow it down for long exposures. Tap the ISO icon to bring up the ISO adjustment slider. Swipe horizontally in the viewfinder to change the ISO. In manual mode, you can also set a custom white balance. To return back to auto mode, simply tap on the M icon at the center of that bar. We call that bar the quick bar. If you pull up anywhere on that row, you reveal the hidden portion. Here you have a ton of useful toggles such as flash, raw, and timer. Check out the grid at the center. Tapping that enables the rule of thirds grid in the viewfinder. Halide's built-in level also appears, allowing you to nail those perfect horizon lines or top-down shots. Notice that the raw toggle was highlighted when you opened the quick bar. Out of the box, Halide shoots raw plus JPEG. Due to the iPhone XS's naturally higher ISO shooting tendencies, Halide has introduced a special feature for the newer phones called Smart Raw. The process is rather complicated, but rest assured it results in a cleaner raw file ready for you to edit in your preferred app of choice. The last major feature of Halide is depth mode. It may look like a rebranded portrait mode, but it's much more powerful. First, it's faster than Apple's portrait mode implementation. Since Halide doesn't use object recognition, but rather captures depth data at all times inside of depth mode, you're ready to capture depth photos instantly. Halide also allows you to visualize the depth data in various ways. You'll notice that there are waves of gray passing over objects in the viewfinder. This is the first way that Halide visualizes that data. If you tap on the icon on the far left, you'll see exactly what that depth data looks like. The image will go grayscale, and all you'll see is the depth information. And that's it! Using Halide is really quite simple. You've now got the basics of the auto, manual, and depth modes. Now you'll be shooting with Halide like a pro. Feel free to tag your awesome photos with hashtag shotwithhalide for a chance to be featured. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy cinematic filmmaking and photography videos, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, and I'll see y'all later.